guys. Recently I have been seeing the closet confidential tag going around YouTube and I'm kind of late going and doing this compared to everybody else but I thought I would do it because it looked like a fun tag and I think Fleur de Force started this tag. But um, if you guys haven't done this tag, I tag all of you guys to do it too. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first question is, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And I really had to think about that because like, I know the oldest thing I have is a Taylor Swift t-shirt that she signed for me in like seventh grade when I met her, but I can't find that shirt, which is kind of bad because she signed it for me. Just like I lost the CD she signed for me, but I don't know. But I did figure out that the oldest thing I have in my closet right now is this shirt from Hollister and it's just a like brown buttoned up shirt that I never, don't even know when the last time I wore it was. Like it's just been sitting in my closet and I'm probably gonna go ahead and like donate it or sell it or something cause I just, I don't wear it. What is the newest item? Now I just went shopping the other day and uh, I think this video is going up before my haul does but I went to Sun and I got this shirt and I'm kind of obsessed with how soft it is and it's just a basic v-neck but it's got like a floral print all over it and I'm seriously obsessed with it and it's like from the Noli, Noli brand? I don't know. I've, I don't shop at Sun very often and I'm trying to because I'm really starting to kind of like more of what's at Sun versus before. I, I don't know. But I really am obsessed with it and it's super soft and I still have the tag on it and it cost me $16.50 but they had their whole blue tag buy one get two free things so I didn't actually have to like pay for this shirt I had to pay for a different shirt the next question is what is the most expensive item now I don't really have any clothing items per se that are expensive but the most expensive item that I have splurged and bought for myself is this watch from Michael Kors and it was like $200 and this is literally the most expensive item that I own and I'm I'm obsessed with my Michael Kors watch. Like, I don't wear it that much because I don't want to take it to college and lose it, so it's just kind of sitting at my house right now. Um, but when I get an apartment next um, year, I'm probably going to take it with me because it'll be an apartment and not be in a dorm because I really don't trust people. The next question is, what is the cheapest, most affordable item that you wear a lot? Um, my tank tops. I don't even know how much they actually cost. I think they're like around $12, which it's not like the cheapest item, but this is probably the item that I get the most use out of. And I get these tank tops from Vanity, which they're, um, they have a different style of tank tops right now that I'm not a fan of that they just came out with, but I love their tank tops. They're so nice and they're really durable. Like I, in the past, have had tank tops where um, the ends, like down here, they get holes. I, my vanity tank tops have never gotten holes. Like I used to get the Aeropostale tank tops all the time and they would get giant holes in them. These ones don't get holes. So if you're looking for good quality tank tops, definitely check out Vanity. I will have a link to Vanity in the description below. I love Vanity. It's one of my favorite stores and it's kind of a more Midwest thing. I don't really think they have it on the coast. So if you're from like the Midwest, Kansas, Nebraska area, um, you guys have probably seen Vanity. Otherwise, you probably haven't. The next question is what is your biggest bargain? And honestly, you guys, I don't know. So I really don't have anything for this category because like I really don't know and I tend to forget like how much I spent on things and like I, I, I just honestly don't know. Like if I get something on the sale rack, like by now, I don't even remember like how much I spent on it and I don't get like really pricey high-end products. I usually go for like Forever 21 things like that so I don't I don't know <laughs> the next question is what is your biggest waste of money and like okay there's more to go with it this shirt right here it's a cropped shirt it's got this cute little keyhole type detail in the center like between the boob area the reason I'm gonna say this is my biggest waste of money I spent $40 on this shirt and I've literally worn it one time and the reason that I've only worn it one time is, first of all, I don't have the type of body to wear crop tops, so I don't even know what I was thinking when I bought this. Like, <laughs> what? I don't wear crop tops. I don't have a toned stomach. I it, I just don't, and I was being a, d a dumb ass when I bought this shirt. So, I don't know, but... I mean, I do like it and I probably will try to find ways to wear it by like pairing it with like high-waisted like skirts that kind of like go up to where the shirt ends, which is what I did when I wore it last time, but I just like, I don't know why I bought it. I spent $40 on a shirt, like if I was going to buy a shirt like this, I should have bought one from like Forever 21 and spent like 10 but instead I spent 40 on one that I'm probably going to wear like twice in my life. 
I'm dumb. I don't know. And the last question is your three favorite items right now. Well, first of all, my first favorite item is the one that I'm wearing right now, which I'll kind of stand up for. It's just um, the sweatshirt from Brandy Melville, and I'm obsessed with it, and I know my friend Caitlin is also obsessed with hers too. I love these Brandy Melville sweaters, and they're like so big and giant. Like, I... I think literally anyone could wear this shirt like it gets so big and like if you're really tiny it's just gonna be really huge on you if you're bigger it's gonna fit a little more snug I guess but still I don't even think it would fit people who are bigger snugly because this shirt is so giant and it stretches forever I'm obsessed with it Caitlyn has the one striped I have this one probably gonna order the same one that Caitlyn has and I told her that because I can and then also this dress that I got from Cotton On, which is my IMATS dress, and I am literally so obsessed with this dress. It's so perfect, and I want to wear it so badly, but of course, it is winter. Like, there's like five inches of snow outside my house right now, so I can't wear this yet, but I'm going to as soon as the weather starts clearing up. And then also, my other favorite, which Caitlin will definitely agree that this is my favorite because she's noticed that I've been picking up things like this also from Cotton On because hello Cotton On is amazing and I'm now completely obsessed with Cotton On but it's just this um, knit sweater type thing I don't know how to describe it but it's so cute and I also wore this at IMATS so if you saw my pictures from IMATS actually I have on my phone here okay Brittany texted me so I gotta close out of that first um, you can see maybe me wearing it. Oh my god, it's on my phone. Yeah, so the, <laughs> that's my favorite items as of right now. So that was the closet con. <sighs> what? That was the closet confidential tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Um, also, uh, leave me any video requests that you have for me in the comments down below because I love taking requests. And if you have any questions for me, I want to film a Q&A video so you can just start adding questions um, into the comments and I'll just kind of answer questions in the Q&A video coming up soon. So thank you guys for watching and I love you all very much and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye guys!